Hey everyone, it's Matt Griffith here, and today we're going to make two apps, both using AI without any coding experience. Ready to get started? Let's do it. Today, we're going to build two apps without having to know how to write any code. Yeah, sounds too good to be true. First, we're going to go to there'sanaiforthat.com and browse through the available apps to select the one you want to create, or should I say recreate. For this first one, I'm going to select Flirtify and take a look at the overview of what it does and fill out the form to generate pickup lines and see the results. Next, I'm going to take a screenshot of the two screens that make the app and head over to Replit and paste them into the prompt box. Then I'm going to complete the prompt with an explanation of what I want to create and then click on the Start Building. Replit will read the screenshots and your prompt and it will come up with a plan and suggest more things that you can add to your app to improve it. Select the ones you want and click on Approve Plan and Start. It will then create a rough prototype and ask you to test it and find errors and bugs and will ask you questions about it that you'll have to accurately answer to provide good feedback and for it to be able to fix the bugs. Sometimes you'll have to give a lot of feedback on one issue until it's resolved. After the first prototype text, it asks you for your OpenAI key to be able to hook it up to use it to create the different pickup lines and categories. It then creates the categories, tabs, and it took a little back and forth to solve the issue of duplicating pickup lines. Then it created the social media share buttons and it took a little back and forth for it to be able to add the Instagram button. And then it had to change the footer text to say, built with love by bazillions. And since this part was the results part of the app, I pasted another screenshot of the landing part with the form and asked it to replicate it. I adjusted the settings until the text was visible and good to go. Then you proceed to the deployment part. You hit the deploy button and select auto scale and I selected two as the number of machines for the app. Then I hit approve and configure build settings. Then select a URL for the app and hit deploy. Replit takes care of everything from here. Once it's ready, you can visit the app and use it. 
Now let's head back over to There's an AI for that and go for the SEO content writer and check out the overview of the app. Here we'll visit the site and see what it does. I started building the app, reviewed the plan, and added a couple of the suggested features, started testing the prototype, and we're back and forth with the tweaks. really had a hard time trying to fix the issue of the bulk blog post generation. The main problem was that it was creating an article with the first topic and then the second article was created combining the first and second topic and then the same with the third combining all three topics. So it was kind of a mess with that. I also had to tweak a little the image generation part. The display of the bulk articles in different tabs and the downloadable zip file contained all of the articles. This time I didn't deploy it. I just hit the new tab button at the top to test the app full screen on a new tab. It does work, but it requires a lot of back and forth to fix these little details. But I really am impressed of what it can do. It's quite amazing. Hey, if you like this video, man, it would really help a small channel like mine if you'd hit that like button and that subscribe button. And you can find out when new videos drop by hitting the bell notification. Until next time.